Hello again, this is Artsy Wisdom. My name is Diane. I am in a different location. We are making a lot of noise out in the other room. So I'm in here and you get to see the bowels of the upstairs. <laughs> Not that exciting, but um, Abby's here with me, of course, as she is always with me. Um, but I wanted to do a quick reading on that uh, video. Somebody had asked me about Melania's promo for her book. I would, it was so weird. It was like the Blair Witch Project or something, the way the black and white and she was halfway in shadow. I didn't understand. And she was promoting women's choice, you know, uh, having reproductive rights. So I, I was going to look into that. And also just to kind of check in and Trump, Musk and uh, Vance are all in Pennsylvania at that same uh, rally location that he got uh, shot at last month or the month before. So uh, let's get going. All right, let's get started. Uh, those of you who aren't subscribers are just stopping by. I uh, would love it if you took the time and if you feel so inclined to subscribe after you watch my video. Today's going to be a short one, but a lot of times I, I do do current events, but also some esoteric. Uh, I do remote viewings with celebrities in different situations all over the world, global. Uh, sometimes politics, sometimes just past life regression, all kinds of really cool things. Um, I want to make sure to bring light into the world as much as possible. Sometimes I'm critical of, of things happening in the world. Doesn't mean I don't see the good in all. Just happens to be we're here as humans and we're experiencing this. Um, so today I'm using my crow tarot. First of all, Melania, the crazy Blair Witch Project video about her memoir she's a funny lady because i always imagined that she was trying to escape him but the reality is is i think she thinks a lot like him and i know she's a taurus so she enjoys her money and security and she knows how lucky she is to come here when she did and her looks uh modeling gorgeous person but um I don't know when I think about her, is this book for, um, to help him? I don't feel like she's doing it to help him. Honestly, I feel like she's doing this to help herself. I know she's planning, she was selling those NFTs and all kinds of other stuff to help put money in the bank. And some of it's very successful because she knows she won't be able to count on his money forever because he will probably be in jail or he'll be um, not in this world any longer. So she's planning ahead. Now, I don't, I feel as if, if I'm in her energy, I feel very thin, by the way, when I'm in her energy, I feel like she is, um, oh, I feel that quiet voice that she has. What do you mean by saying this? Well, she believes that she's not doing it just to get his voters. She believes that uh, she is. So I think she's separating herself a little bit. Um, not so much, you know, uh, as a clever maneuver, but just, this is just who she is. And she's trying to show her real self, which is very strange with the shadow and the dark. So weird. Um, I think it has something to do with European, um, her sensibilities of what is um, artistic. And I'm sure she had a artistic art director or photo uh, photography director, or whoever uh, publicist wanted to do some ideas. This might've been one of them. And I feel like she picked this. She thought it was more dramatic. I don't think it had anything to do with, um, like I said, I don't think it was a, clever coy the chariot she just she's thinking about moving on and what she needs to move forward and she did think of it as uh, something really artistic in a weird way i think that's just who she is honestly um and i think she's really opinionated even though she backs down a lot of time with him she's very opinionated she's a taurus so of course she's opinionated just doesn't seem that way because she's so soft-spoken and um yeah she's 
getting the money and it slowly. So I think it was just an artistic choice. I think it's just her opinion. I don't think she's doing it to get him voters. I do think his staff or his people or even him actually talked to her about it and maybe maybe even suggested to be vague when it comes to um, reproductive rights, but she already was pretty certain, so it, she didn't even have to be vague. So it was a combination of things, artistic choice and being this weird. Um, I think she's really looking forward to him being out of the picture. I feel like she wants to be with Baron and live a life with him, find a new guy, or if she hasn't already. Uh, when he goes, when he loses, and I got that image the other day of him leaving the country before the election. Now, it, I don't know, maybe sometimes I just get in somebody's energy. Maybe that was an idea he had, say, right now, today, I don't feel that. I do feel like it's a possibility that he will leave. But right now he's hunkered down because he's got a lot of confidence Vance and Musker with him in Pennsylvania. So I'll definitely divorce him after the election. It may be a few years um, before because of the court cases and everything. But I think after that, it's definitely going to happen. Yeah, there'll be a lot of fighting and arguing and she'll be ready to go. She's setting herself up, seriously setting herself up for uh, future goals, future money, security. Okay. <coughs> Just when I heard about the Pennsylvania rally with, you know, a redo at the same place that Trump got uh, shot in his ear, uh, I do feel that these people are coming from everywhere to come and support him and say, yes, you came back. We're here for you, Mr. President. Let's do this. And Vance is there. So I feel like it's going to be a very gung-ho kind of rally because some of his rallies are very kind of petering out because his ranting and is making no sense and it gets exhausting and people are just are running out of bandwidth for this it's just, just there's a lot of fatigue trump fatigue trump tiring um and that's the way it's supposed to be really and truly he's playing his part yes okay so M musk is there uh, I think he'll introduce him and he'll, I think, I don't know, maybe he has already, but I feel like Elon Musk with all his billions of dollars really is thinking, all he's doing is thinking about himself and what the, the money he could do. I did several videos on him and his goals and why he's doing this and his brain and how it's two different parts. And he's very um, kind of a not machine, but very mathematical, calculating, autistic really in that ballpark. And also his humanness. He doesn't really He's there, but it's not connected. His goal is to, he's obsessed about making these things real, these creative ideas, and a lot of it has to do with making money and uh, inventing things that aren't here. He really wants to make a name for himself. And I think in the past, I, anyway, the point is, I'm sorry, I'm off topic. I'm going in a different place. So Elon Musk, I think, is giving uh, Trump some credibility, not just for rich people or, or tech people, but men and um, like semi-sane people. So a person like that, who's not already in his MAGA world, which I know he's been there, but it's, this is a new version and he's younger. And I think that's really important for Trump. And he kind of, I think Trump doesn't look as weird next to Musk advance and Vance looks and I saw this the other day and I told you guys Snidely Whip Vance is what I saw him as so this is three of pentacles here we go our threesome the three uh, amigos there at the the rally working it out and I feel like they're going to get together some ideas and create something new from this just from this event like come up with another strategy like another way either to make money or to talk to people or to go on X or um, another marketing thing, I think, like that. It's a combination marketing, bringing in donations, something like that. Like Musk is really, he already helps him, but he it's going to, I think, being in the same space this long of a time, hearing, talking to the people is going to really make a difference. Oh, look at the lovers. Everybody's getting along so good. They've all found each other. 
So, yeah. And I think the whole thing is going to go gangbusters there because they love him. And, you know, these people are going to come from all over the country to see him and say, yay, do us again. But as a reminder, Trump, Donald Trump will not win the election. Kamala Harris will. And uh, Bruce Springsteen had that awesome, awesome video I saw the other day. You know, I, I'm, I'm a fan, but not like a crazy fan. But he, it was wonderful on so many levels. It's perfect. So hopefully um, that'll help get some more men votes in there. But um, I hope, I think they're supposed to be on 60 Minutes soon. And um, Walls and Harrison, so they will give us some more information and plans and more details about the future. But I think absolutely she's going to win. It's, um, it's just Trump has become a sad character in it, like a Charles Dickens novel, like the old grumpy guy at the end that doesn't find redemption, that just sits quietly in a cold house somewhere and counts his money, kind of like Ebenezer Scrooge, but Ebenezer Scrooge finds redemption. But I don't think, I wish he would, though. Life would be better if Trump did. I think he would, his soul would be at ease and get some healing. But, yep, two of cups. More. Look. All right, that's it. Just real quick. You guys take care. Until next time.